Loi Sao Kwan, recognized as Hong Kong's pioneer in the New Ink movement, has had a far-reaching influence on contemporary Chinese art. Born in Guangzhou, Loi's interest in painting was inherited from his father Loi Tan Ming, a scholar painter and owner of an antique shop, giving him ample opportunities to learn and copy from ancient paintings in a shop by well-known masters. After he graduated from the University of Guangzhou with a degree in economics in 1946, he came to Hong Kong in 1948 at the age of 28 and began working for the Hong Kong and Yaomate Ferry Company as an inspector in 1949. While working there, he was able to observe Hong Kong's mountains and harbors. He also traveled extensively in Hong Kong in search for inspiration from natural sceneries. When he turned to nature for inspiration, he started to combine the characteristics of Eastern and Western styles and was trying to find how to portray light with Chinese ink and paper. So he turned to J.M.W. Turner, the painter of light. In Turner, Loi found new ways to portray nature that were unknown to him before. As seen in his use of ink wash to depict light in the sunlight created in 1972, he found a way to modernize Chinese traditional ink painting while remaining loyal to the art form. In 1954, Loi had his first one-man show in Hong Kong at Hong Kong Hotel and his second one at the British Consul Library in Hong Kong in 1957. This exhibition firmly established his fame in the local art scene. Throughout his career, Loi continued his practice in landscapes, oftentimes borrowing and reinterpreting forms from classical Chinese paintings. He was fascinated by the traditional composition and brush strokes in classical paintings and was dedicated in searching for new approaches to contemporary scenery. While concurrently developing his Zen paintings, he began incorporating these new forms and ideas into his Zen paintings. Loi began practicing abstract painting in the early 1950s, at a time when abstract art was germinating in the West. Loi once said, I do not paint in abstract because of awareness of a school of abstract painting. I paint in accordance with the Chinese philosophy of art, which stresses expression of the individual mind and nature of the artist. His abstract studies were not monotonous, sometimes a boat, a little cottage or other figures dot the abstract paintings, which connect nature and abstraction together, as seen in his work Spring of the Year, done in 1951. His experiment with abstraction and his studies in Zen Buddhism ultimately led to the creation of his unique Zen painting. Such paintings normally bear the title Zen, but sometimes they are without any particular title, as in the Lotus 1970. We can trace the influences of classical landscape paintings and Western modern art, such as abstract art and expressionism in them. Roy's work with a few mighty strokes in black and a weighty dot in red is iconic of his dry Zen ink painting, revealing the utmost simplicity and boldness of the Lloyd's creation. While in Zen painting 1970, he uses the five grades of ink tonality, ranging from dark black to charcoal grey, with the dissolved images of the moon and clouds. Louis' white painting represents a complexity and richness of Zenness. The Zen painting series marks a major breakthrough in the new ink movement. During the last 10 years of his life, Louis also engaged himself in teaching. In 1966, he became the teacher of Chinese ink painting at the Department of Actual Mural Studies at the Chinese University of Hong Kong and at the University of Hong Kong. The Wan'a Group, which was founded in 1970 based on Lloyd's ideas, was an extremely active platform representing the new spirit of modern art in Hong Kong. Lloyd's students, members of Wan'a Group including Wu Shu Swam, Aaron Chow, Gam Dai Keren, Choi Zi Hong, and Luan Guiteng also advocated the importance of a return to traditions to better express the self-identity of Hong Kong artists. In recognition for his achievements in the arts, he received an MBE from the British government in 1971. Besides being a successful painter and a scholar, Louis was also a prolific writer. His publications include a study of a Chinese painting in 1956 and also lectures on ink painting in 1972. In 2005, Louis' students published the manuscripts of Louis Soquan, a comprehensive compilation of Louis' lecture writing spanning his career as a teacher. Sadly, in 1975, when he was at the height of his artistic career, he passed away at a young age of 56. He left behind a rich legacy and a strong following of students to pass on his unfinished mission. Louis' works were exhibited extensively internationally, in particular in the UK since the 1960s. They include important 
institutions such as Ashmolean Museum at the University of Oxford, the British Museum. In 2018, the Ashmolean Museum organized a show, Abstraction, Ink and Enlightenment, to commemorate his centenary. Louis' artworks are in a collection of important institutions including Victoria and Albert Museum, the Young Museum in San Francisco, Elder County Museum, Taipei Museum of History, the Hong Kong Museum of Art, M Plus Museum for Visual Culture, to make name a few. In 1984, Alison Fine Arts first exhibited Lois' paintings, a selection taken from a collection of his five modern Moisin paint. And since then, the gallery has held six important solo exhibitions of his work, including the important shows A Legacy of Ink, Lois Oquan 40 years on in 2015, at the Hong Kong Art Centre, which presented Lois' works together with 12 of his students, as well as a younger generation of artists and Lois Oquan Pioneer of New Ink, a centenary celebration in 2019.